Hello and welcome to my video where I talk about the vidIQ best time to post feature. If you would like to check out vidIQ, I will leave my link down below in the description. And if you click that, you can actually try them out for free. So this is very easy to get to once you're in your studio. You're going to go to analytics, you're going to go to audience, you're going to scroll a little bit down and you're going to see it's on the left side. Got some private stuff. I'm just, you know, uh, not showcasing at the time. And yes, that is a Winamp icon down below. I get so many comments about that. If you know what Winamp is, you are definitely a 90s person like me, maybe late 80s too, but let's get back on topic. So this is when your viewers are on YouTube. So what does that mean? Usually, or I'm going to say usually, because not always, unless something changes, maybe like a corner case scenario, you want to post when the most amount of viewers are going to be on YouTube. This is just about the same thing with any social media platform. If you're on, say, Instagram, and you notice that your Instagram followers are mostly on at 3 p.m., that's usually when you want to post. The reason for this is because when you do that, you're going to get a much bigger boost where you can get more engagement like likes, comments, maybe get some new subscribers. And of course, with YouTube, it allows viewers to watch for a longer duration. If it gets that better boost, it's going to allow you to rank higher in the search engine of YouTube, which is another big benefit. If you notice down below, it says publish time is not known to directly affect the long term performance of a video. I kind of agree and I kind of disagree. I think that if you publish when a lot of your viewers are on, like I talked about, you get more of that chances to boost your video as opposed to saying like posting on a really bad time, like a Saturday at 11, where you can see it's barely lit up here. For me personally, I like this because it definitely coincides with all the times that I am already publishing. So big thumbs up. It's working, right? So like Sunday, 11 a.m., we have Saturday, like 12 p.m. It looks like 1 p.m. or so, but most of the other days are going to be around 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. So those are pretty much the times when I am going to be posting. So I like that it already is accurate when it comes to that. And there's also going to be another way in case you want to check out specific videos. So I'm just going to go to that right now. Here I have another video where, you know, after I've already posted it, it shows the best time to publish on your channel. So this is going to be one of the best windows here. Peak time is 6 to 8 a.m. Consider posting before as viewer traffic grows. So it doesn't mean it's going to be a bad time to post between like, you know, 6 and 12 overall. It's just that's going to be the peak time of when you should consider it. Then, of course, if you want to change this up, you can go like to Sundays, you can go overall, you can do Mondays. It's, it's really going to be up to you. But this is the type of micro feature that it's very easy. Like I don't need a whole lot of explaining for, but it can be very beneficial in my opinion, especially if you want that bigger boost when you are posting your video, especially if you're monetizing your content. Of course, that's going to be even more beneficial for you because you get more views, which means more ad revenue for you. So be sure to check that out. If you do check out vidIQ, you know, this is something I practice all the time in terms of when I post my videos, they are going to be around like the 9 a.m. time a little bit longer after that, but it works very well for me and it's something I would just recommend looking into just to make sure that you're getting the most out of when you post on YouTube. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And of course, if you want to check out vidIQ, my link will be down below in the description. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.